democracy we live in. When we went to that same meeting, the national security insisted that our representatives could not go into the meeting with their phones. And so they took the phones from them. Again, we weren't expecting that meeting. When we left out of that meeting, we have credibly established that one of our representatives, the only person who was using an Android phone, his phone, his phone was cloned. And that all the messages and the conversations we were having on our platform, he could no longer access it. And so what we did was we flashed his phone immediately. And it turned out to us that since then, even this we discovered just this morning, that calls from his phone were being diverted to another phone. We have that number, and we'll put that online. When we, when we search for it online through True Color, it is called uh, monitoring on Vo Vodafone. That's how it is registered. Now, under the circumstances under which the government has mounted an unlawful surveillance against people who have given just notice to voice their protest on the streets, having participated in any illegal activity, so, so that's, giving that to the police. That's a suspicion. Yes. We must say so. That that's a suspicion. Correct. So we are we, we are going forward, and we are going to put this transparently in the public domain, and we are going to sue, and we are going to have the police, and have the police and the telecom authorities involved give that information to the courts under the circumstances under which the government, how we believe, has broken civil liberties of people by subjecting them, subject, subjecting us to unlawful surveillance. Now, this is a critical point, and it goes to the heart of our Constitution. And I, and I said this, again, not being an alarmist.